I'm Linda from Balali's Body Blitz. Welcome to Target 20 Thighs. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat. If you want to intensify any of the moves, you can use some light ankle weights or maybe even a resistance loop just above the knees. Just depending on how you feel with the exercises, there'll be lots of long lever work where you'll be doing large range of motion. So I'm not gonna use any extra equipment. Now we're going to be doing 20 rounds of 60 seconds of work without any breaks in between. If you need to take a break at any time, just press pause, but really make it a micro break. I'd rather you slow down or use a modification than to stop altogether, okay? We're trying to build stamina with these 60 second intervals. So once we get started, we're gonna lie down on our back and do some large range of motion exercises to really heat up the muscles, but it's not a designated warm up as such. So if you are in a cold climate, make sure you warm up extra and come back when you're ready. Okay, lying down on your back, pressing start. I want your feet turned out and we're just gonna come out and in, crossing over, out and in. Then we're gonna come open to the front and then open to the back. Again, it's out and in, crossing, out and in, then open to the front, open to the back. So this is a nice large range of motion. The turnout means that you're going to be using your inner thighs. Out and in, out and in, open to the front, open to the back. Keep breathing, out and in, to the front, 24 seconds, to the back. Try to come down low if you can and keep your legs really straight here. That's the key, nice and straight. 13 seconds, out and in, to the front, to the back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now turn your knees towards you and we're gonna do like a bicycle, down, around and up. Down, around and up. Down, around and up. Now the other leg is going to be nice and straight, up to the ceiling. Down, around and up. Down, around and up. All the way around. Down, around and up. All the way down. 35, in four seconds. In two, three, one. We're just gonna keep the leg straight and just kick it up. Kick it up. So now we've heated up the front of the thigh. So this is gonna be lower abs as well as thighs, down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. 13, 11, we're gonna sit up after this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So sit up, the other leg can either be bent or straight and we're gonna continue but this time I want you to bring it up and then shift your kneecap to the front, up and around and back, up and around and back. So it's a circle, but you're bringing your kneecap from up to the ceiling to the side, up to the ceiling to the side. So you're turning out as you come around. So you're slightly resting on those hands, but you're also drawing your navel in and using your abs to help you to really stabilize this move. Around and out, around and out. So here you're gonna be feeling a lot of the front of the thigh. Around and out, around and out. 12, 11. Keep breathing, nice big rotation. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna draw up, then turn in and down. So you're opening bringing the knee to the front and down. Open, bring the knee to the front and down. So open to the side, knee to your chest and down. Open to the side, knee to your chest and down. We're trying to keep your body upright here and using your abs a little bit as well. Out, straight down. Out, straight and down. Out, straight and down. So this is burning out every part of that thigh. Out, straight and down. 24 seconds. Keep going, up, down. Out, straight and down. 12, sorry, 15, and down. Out, straight and down. 10 seconds, straight and down. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Now I want you to sit up even more, bend this other leg, and extend on an angle. So you're angling your foot slightly to the front, and you're going bend, extend, bend, extend. So this is really, really hitting in here, but if you're finding this too tough, you can come down here and really extend long. Otherwise, stay up here in the work zone, 36 seconds. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Come on, really squeeze. Breathe out as you push, push, push. Keep going, around. Trying to keep that foot turned out, 15 seconds. Breathe, we're gonna lie back down after this. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm just gonna turn so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Back down, this time kneecaps stay to the front. We're gonna scissor all the way down and scissor all the way up. So you're turning out slightly, but you're really trying to keep your kneecaps more to the front. And the key here is to really straighten behind the knee, okay? So you've got abs in here as well, but you need to straighten behind the knee. Keep your legs super straight and up. And your hand here is just pressed into the mat. If you can't come down as low as me, that's okay. Just come down to your low point. 13, 12, down and down. You need to squeeze every part of that thigh. Next, we're gonna leave both legs in the air and we're gonna start doing that bicycle with the front leg, so it's your other leg. So it's up, so it's in, around and back up. Down, around and up. Down, around and up. If you wanna involve your upper abs, then you can put your hand behind your head like me. Down, around and up. Down, around and up. Down, around and up all the way, like a big bicycle. You can even do it the other way as well. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. In two seconds, in one second, we're gonna come down and up, down and up. So that first half with the bicycle was much easier. And we started with that to warm up through the hip flexor. And now that it's warm, we're doing this large range of motion kick and we're tr really trying to stabilize by squeezing the other leg. Eight, seven, after this we're up and we're doing those circles out to the side. Three, two, and one. So come up, you can either keep your legs straight or bent and we're gonna circle and then up. So you, as you circle, you're turning your knee from up to the ceiling to the side. Okay, so you're turning your entire leg. You're just sitting with your abs pulled in, sitting slightly back with your weight in your hands, but not heaps. Like I could actually lift my hand here. So I'm not carrying my entire weight in the hand. I'm trying to use my core. 26, so a big circle, keeping your legs straight, circling to the front and back in. Breathing, breathing. 18, 17. Try to keep the legs straight. Around and around, around and around. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're drawing it up and back down. It's out, up, down, out, up, down. So it's out to the side, then the kneecap turns to the chest, up, down. It's up, up, down. Breathe. Straighten and down. In, straighten and down. In, straighten and down. Really try to keep your legs long here. They want to keep bending, but don't let it happen. Up, down. Up, down. Keep going. Breathe through it. Up, down. Up, down. 18. Up, down. Come on. Up, down. Keep going. Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Now if you want to bend this leg, turn out your foot and it's a little bend, extend. Bend, extend. Tummies are in, bend, extend. Really squeeze. Now this one is super tough, so I understand if you want to come down here, it will take the hip flexor out of it, this muscle in here, the one that burns so bad when you're extending. So your foot is turned on an angle and you're squeezing that leg like crazy. Bend, extend. Oh yeah, 27, come on. I believe in you, you can do this. Squeeze that leg, straighten that leg. 19, 18. We're on our side next and we're gonna be using our other leg, okay? So make sure you don't use the same leg. 10, 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Turn on your side. Try to stay really upright. Stack your hips. And I want you to turn your foot out. And it's up and it's down. It's up and it's down. You're turning your feet out, okay? So both of them are turned out. But you're keeping your chest to the front. And you're trying to kick your leg up with your knee coming towards you. So don't do this where your outer thigh comes toward you, but you should be able to kick it much higher with your kneecap coming towards you. 29. So this is large range of motion. You can come all the way down and rest your head in your hand, but by being up here and pushing out of that shoulder, you're engaging your entire core. 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10. Try to kick up and get that dynamic stretch element. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna draw in, kick to the front and back. Draw in, kick to the front and back. Draw in, kick to the front and back. Back. It's a very deliberate motion. Back, you should feel your abs here. Draw in, knees to the front. So knee up, knee to the front and back. Kick to the front and back. Knee, kick, back. You kind of got to keep saying it to yourself. Otherwise you end up going wrong with this because it's a bit of a tongue twister for your legs. In, front, back. 20 seconds. Front, back. Up, front, back. Draw to the kneecap each time. Back. Nine, eight, seven, six, back. Three, two, one. Now leg to the front, come down. Try to keep your legs split and raise it. Raise it. Raise and tap. Try to keep your body anchored and push your fingers into the mat. It will help you. If this just isn't working for you, come up like this. It will give you a bit more stability. But down here, your abs are working like crazy to help you stabilize. You need to press your other leg into the mat to help stabilize you as well. Tummies are in. Just pick it up. Pick it up. 21 seconds. Come on. Up. 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 Keep going. 15, 14. 12, 11. We're up on our elbow again after this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So come up on our elbow. You can either bend the legs and we're going to come into the chest and press out. I'm gonna keep my other leg extended. You can either put the hand behind or in front, depending on what helps you. So you're bringing knee in and then pressing the foot out. Okay, trying to get as close to 90 degrees as possible, but if you can't, then just do it here. Okay, that's fine too, 34. You're gonna slightly move in your upper body, but I want you to try as much as possible to stay still and just move that leg. And in here should be burning so bad right now. So remember, you can bend if you want, and you can come all the way down here if you want. 14, 13, 12, 11, Come on, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Now turn over, your heels are together, your leg is up, you're not, you're not fully down like this, you're slightly up, and we're just gonna beat the leg, beat the leg, beat, beat. It's turned out, you're kind of slightly pushing yourself up with this front hand, and you're beating the leg, it's super straight, so that you're really trying to click your heels together. I'm kind of pressing my other toes into the mat. So I've got my heel available to click again. So you're slightly turned here. Your hip is slightly to the front. 24, this is the last exercise on this side. Then we're switching up and repeating on the other side. And then we're done. Simple, right? Simple but not easy. 15, 14. Come on. Tummies are in. Make sure you're not slouching here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Quickly over to the other side. And we're starting off with our legs turned out and we're coming all the way up. It's up and back down, up and back down. So you're turning your kneecap towards you. Up, your hips are stacked. Make sure they're stacked. And you've got your tummy pulled in so that it's going to help you to be really stable through the upper body. Up, so both my legs are turned out here. That's gonna help you to keep kicking that leg up with the kneecap towards you. 23 seconds, come on. Really nice and high. You should feel a nice stretch in the inner thighs on both legs. Up, up, come on, keep squeezing. You're squeezing, squeezing your entire leg from the toe to the top of your thigh. Three, two, and one. So now we're coming in to the front and back. In to the front and back. So when you come back, you're turned out again. Draw up, kick straight, and then turn out. Draw up, kick straight, and turn out. <sighs> front and back. Tummies are in, back. That's what's gonna help you to stabilize here. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. I'd rather you get the angles right here, in to the front and back. All the way to the front, as if you're kicking, sorry, directly out in front of you, 90 degree angles. Up, front, back, 20 seconds. Up, front, back. Come on, 13, 12. Long legs, straighten. Every time, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now to the front, splitting your legs, you can come down here and up. So this time your outer thigh is facing to the ceiling and you're just lifting that leg, tapping back down. Pushing this hand into the mat will help you to really get that leverage to help you push that leg up. Remember, you can be up here, and if this is just not working for you, you can come in line. And, but if you do this, make sure your hips are on top of each other. The further you bring your leg to the front, the more you're gonna feel it, and the harder it is, okay? 24 seconds. 21, 20. Come on, you can do this. Breathe. 12, 11. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now, if you want to, you can bring your knee in and we're gonna kick out in front. Kick and extend. Otherwise, keep your legs straight all the way out. <sighs> Breathing each time. Just bringing that straight all the way out. Squeeze that leg. Hold your tummy in. Really feeling that burn. Trying to bring that into the chest and extend as close to 90 degrees as possible. But if you can't, then here is fine. 16, 15. Keep going. You can do it. 10, 9. Seven, six, 
Come on, all the way to the end for three, two, and one. Last exercise, remember you're gonna push yourself up and you're gonna turn your hips slightly out and you're just gonna beat those heels together. So you can lift up on the toe of the other foot so that your foot is slightly higher and that way you've gotta lift the front leg a little bit higher. You're pushing out with this hand and you're really trying to keep both those legs straight and engaged, your tummy's pulled in and you are really feeling the entire leg. Also a little bit of oblique work here. 27, 26, come on, keep going. The key is to straighten that leg and squeeze every inch of it from your toes all the way up to your hips. 15, 14, nearly done with this. 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Congratulations. All done. Come into a seated position. Bring your soles of your feet together and just open that out. So that fast pace actually got the heart rate up a little bit as well. Not super high, but a little bit for sure. That's always a bonus when you're doing high rep, fast pace work. Just bring your leg out and then just bring your body towards that leg and lean the other way. So your obliques would have felt some of that work as well, other leg in, which is always a good thing to use more than one muscle group, compound training, trying to get the most out of every exercise by engaging as many muscle groups as you can. And the way to do that is really to prop yourself up on your elbows, to instead of lying down on your back, prop yourself up on your hands, using your upper body to engage as well and to stabilize definitely helps to include so many more smaller muscle fibers. Point and flex. Then come to the side and just bring your heel into your glutes and stretch out the front of the thigh and then bring it up to the ceiling, pull that in. Nice job, and then just bring those legs to the other side, and again, front of thigh. Then up to the ceiling. So this workout definitely could have been intensified with those ankle weights, but I'm sure you felt it without as well. And all the different variations, just come into a child's pose and sit back. All the different variations and angles will show you that you can work your body in so many different ways. It doesn't always have to be your traditional, boring leg, side leg raises, doing everything exactly the same. You need to shock your body, come to the back and pull to the front. Shock your body into giving you results. Nice job. And just for the front of the thighs again, just hold on to either your butt and stick your hips forward, or if you can, find your heels and just push your hips to the front, stretching the front of your thighs. And then if you can, bring your legs together and put your hands behind you and then push your hips up again. Just pushing them up. and coming down and coming into a cat cow all the air out and up one more time and up and that is it thanks so much for joining me for my target 20 thigh workout i hope you felt that burn especially in the front of the thighs and i'll see you at the next workout